Yeah, I done did a lot of things in my day. I admit it, I don't take back what I say. If I said it, then I meant it. All my life, I won a Grammy, but I probably never get it. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Real Talk, the Real Talk podcast. Whatever this is, uh, me and Audrey back at it again. Audrey, what's up? What are you drinking? What's in your cup? <laughs> you already know what's in my cup. Like always, it's coffee. I'm a big coffee drinker. Nescafe. Yeah, but, but like for the other people at home, you know, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> tell them what's on your. I haven't done that in a long time. I'm just kidding. You know what? When I used to work retail, I used to put um, like a little bit of, uh, what do you call it? Liquor into my coffee. And um, Have that's the only that. way. That was the only way that I could make it through the day, man. Especially when I worked those morning shifts, like at six in the morning, I had to. You mean yeah, at Pizza Hut? <laughs> no, I didn't do that at Pizza Hut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I smelt it on you. I never opened that Pizza Hut. I was always stuck closing. Everyone was always stuck closing. Fuck, no, I was always stuck closing. That's because you like to close. You're like a weirdo. You'd be like, yeah, I'll take the closing shifts. Because you you know that you didn't do shit. Yeah, I know. (laughs) That was like (laughs) an easy shift for me. You would just be sitting there on your phone. We're gonna change this from the real talk to just to the live real talk. Pizza Hut talk. To, to real, the, to the real talk. Uh, but all right, uh, for everybody watching, we're gonna be talking about uh, movies, I guess. Okay, how are we gonna name this, Audrey? Movie. I mean, movie music musicians that have like dipped their toe or like dabbled turned into actors. acting. Yeah, or dabbled musicians into acting. Musicians turned actors. The ones uh, that suck. The ones that are actually pretty okay and so forth we're gonna talk about it all uh in honor of a star is born obviously lady gaga is uh acting alongside bradley cooper which he's uh directing i'm not sure if he wrote it uh but it's obviously a a remake of the original um i'm excited for that are you audrey uh i am actually i don't i don't know why i'm so excited for it but um i'm not a big fan of lady gaga or I'm a fan of Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I like his work. But I'm not a fan of Lady Gaga. Yeah, she's like whatever for me. I actually gained a lot of respect for her after I watched her documentary on Netflix. I don't know if you've watched it. Probably not. But um, she has a documentary on Netflix. Probably not. What does that supposed to mean? Well, are you a Lady Gaga fan? I mean, I I listen to like a few of her songs. (laughs) But you're not going to be like, oh, when's the new single coming out? Right? Yeah, I, 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 is she done with that? By the way, she hasn't made music in a long time. Well, she, well, yeah, I think that. Well, I don't. I'm like I said, I don't know. I'm not a fan. But that documentary takes place when she was um, making Joanne, and um, it was. It's a really good documentary. It made me get a lot of respect for her because you know she talks about like her struggles and stuff, and she just seemed like a more down to earth person. Because I think her persona as a musician, it doesn't appeal to me because she's so like out there but now i kind of understand why she's like that so it made me like i was like oh okay like i get you so you're cool like i get you she's cool with me now (laughs) when her and um amy winehouse right Mm -hmm. for some reason i thought they were the same person for a while um one's blonde and one's brunette (laughs) i felt like they uh, both came out and she's amy winehouse is british (laughs) is she really Oh, Amy Winehouse? Wait, are you getting confused with someone else? Amy Winehouse is the one that died. I don't know. Like, just, I don't know, like no, I know she, she passed away, but it's like I don't know. I for me they both came on the scene like around the same time. They kind of look similar like in their face. Um but yeah, Lady Gaga, um I've heard like obviously she started singing and stuff like that, but she kind of recently kind of like been an advocate for a lot of uh cool things you know mm-hmm. uh, she, that's why she's not you know making music or whatever uh, which is cool um so it's nice to see her pop in a film you know and and um i haven't seen the original star is born and it's going to be pretty cool uh to see what bradley cooper based on it or what everybody's been saying he, he does a phenomenal job in his first directorial debut so um yeah i'm excited it's not in my top you know most to, i think i think it'll be in top five for sure but it's not you know we, we discussed on about this in uh our live stream 
Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because, um, I mean, the trailer gives me chills. Like, her voice, like, there's no doubt that she has an amazing voice. So, um, yeah. So I think it's going to be good. I hope it's good. I have high hopes for it. I hope Bradley Cooper doesn't let me down. And I'm also kind of interested in seeing Lady Gaga act in a full-length feature because I've seen her in, like, American Horror Story. Like, she has, like, a... She had, like, a small role or ish. And um, she was okay. She wasn't like, oh, my God. But... Yeah. <laughs> come out I in didn't, American I'm... Horror Story. I missed her in that. Um, but yeah, but overall, I mean, I don't, I've only seen like one season of American Horror Story. So, <gasps> no way. Have you, yeah. are you going to watch the new one, The Apocalypse? Are you watching it at all? No. Um, I saw like the first episode, like a minute of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I stopped watching because I was like, for some reason, I don't know. I'm kind of weird. I know like they, all the seasons are like, they have nothing to do with each other and they're like completely new, but. I'm like, fuck, I feel like I should watch all of them before this one. To be honest, I mean, yeah, because I guess this one is tying in all, or they're all going to be tied in, or I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know the details, but that's what I heard. Um, but I I haven't watched all of them. I skipped I skip a few, because some of them I just don't really get into them as much as the other ones. So it's like a hit or a miss for me, that show. But yeah. But yeah, um, let us know in the comment section down below if you guys watch American Horror Story. <laughs> and if you guys are excited for A Star is Born. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but before we get into our little um, news topics, did you get to see the uh, thing I sent you on Instagram? Which one? Oh, uh, the poster? Yeah. Yes, I did. So we're going to be talking about that. There's a lot to talk about with just one image, Audrey. I know. I know. No, I, I, I was kind of kidding. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Well, I mean, there, there I was being be. like, no, well, I was being like, well, I was being kind of sarcastic. Like, really? Like, yeah, Alongside I know. with me and I, and I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, so I was a big fan of the first Creed. Me too. Did you like Creed, the first one? Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like this is overkill. Like, I'm just like, fuck. It goes back to me saying, like, they ruin a good thing. Like, I was fine just having a Creed. I didn't need re- Creed 2. I didn't need it. I just didn't. I could have so gone. So you're, you're not hyped for this one? I'm not. Because, like I said, I, I don't need it. I was happy that, with the first one. That trailer with Kendrick Lamar didn't pump you up? <laughs> I mean, yeah, and like I said, I'm gonna go watch it, but I didn't need it. So what if, if this it's is like shitty, ten times better than Creed. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. You well, it's not it gonna is? be. Um, what's his name? Ryan Coogler at the helm. Uh, obviously, he did Black Panther. I forget <clears throat> who he chose to direct, but he he handpicked the guy. So um, I trust Ryan Coogler and and everything he's done. The from the trailer. Um, I, I kind of disagree with you. I, I kind of wanted a Creed 2 because the first one was so cool. So I was like, cool, at least let's get three of these movies. Yes, okay. I want the third one on the Dream Not sure. What? Um, I don't know. Maybe he can die in this one. I'm not sure because he's going against the son of Drago, um, <laughs> which is kind of cool because Drago killed you know his dad. Right. So now the story kind of comes full sort of like, circle. Yeah, head to head. Uh, but the posters look cool. I mean, uh, Michael B. Jordan, he always looks cut and beast and stuff like that so it's cool to see him and then the one with stallone is just stallone you know, and his old age kind of taking know, the, the Mickey right? character you know the trainer character role i'm 100 percent sure he's got probably gonna die in this one because the in the last one he almost died i know so, and I, I i literally cried so hard i was just like <laughs> I know. man it was bad but yeah uh i mean like i said i'll still go watch it um but I'm not like oh over the moon for it. it. I, I didn't have to have it. I could have been cool with just the first one existing. But uh but yeah, I mean, like you said, I'm down for Stallone and I'm down for Michael B. Jordan, so what's not to like? <laughs> so the next thing I want to talk to you about is Mel Gibson's next movie, which he's gonna be writing and directing a remake of the Wild Bunch or Wild Bunch? Wild um, Bunch, yeah. I have no idea what this movie is about, the original. Um, and But, I mean, I love Mel Gibson and everything he's directed so far. So, 
Uh, apparently, this takes place in like World War II. He's coming off of uh, uh, Hacksaw Ridge, which I, I loved. I think it was my favorite movie of that year. It, that year still, like to me, because I think that year had The Nice Guys, Hacksaw Ridge, Moonlight. I remember. Uh, it was a killer La La year. Land. It was a fucking killer year, like last year. Last year had a lot of great movies as well. This year, not so much so far. But, you know, I mean, like we keep saying, we got Call Me By Your Name at the end of the year. You know, we had no idea that was coming. Um, right. And then we have Beautiful Boy coming out this year. But still, um, I- I'm looking forward to this because, again, Mel Gibson's at the helm. It's a World War II movie. He proved himself already with uh, Hacksaw Ridge. I keep looking over there because I have the, <laughs> the <movie>. but. <laughs> Uh, but in Braveheart is, is awesome. Uh, Apocalypto is great. Uh, a little quick, quick fun fact: Apocalypto is like super hard to find on Blu-ray. It's like right. forty bucks. Is it? Is it? Is it? Um, out of press? Is that why? Yeah, I think yeah, out of print. Yeah. It's out of print, out of and it's print. like fuck, man. Like, I want I want to see it. You know, I think it's on like. I think it's on somewhere like some. I think like a, a weird like streaming service has it. I, I don't think it's on like Hulu or Amazon or Netflix. I think it's like a weird one, like CBS or something. I um, saw it once and it scarred me for like a minute. It, I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty sad. I thought it was really sad. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like a. Um, how do you say it? A great rep- representation of like how life was back then, you know. I mean, I, I don't know any other re- representation that, of that, hardly. but um, it's kind of it's brutal. It's, it's a story that we all can connect to, like this guy just trying to survive and, and kind of um, trying to because I remember from what I can remember of it, like he's trying to protect his like wife, right? And like she gives birth in this like cave or something, and he gets yes. chased by a fucking panther or jaguar. And this like other tribe is trying to get after him. Like, I love it because <laughs> I think it's we've like talked a story about this of before. redemption. Yeah, and then, like all this shit's going down, it gets you in the moment. It's thrilling, and then right at the end, like you see the the Spaniards coming, you and you're know? just like, it, Fuck. it's like damn, like they thought they had it bad, and now like while all this is going on, like something else is coming. Like that's what I love about that. Like you're but literally you can be made here. me so sad. Yeah, it sucks. It, it like it's just like life. Like you think your life is going okay, but then it's like bam. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I agree with you, but it's like for them, like him, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Shane and no, boom, yeah. like something even like like fuck, like because we all know, like you know, Spaniards came and brought over obviously diseases, and everybody thought that those guys were gods and stuff. You know, kind of like when Columbus came in, in mm-hmm. North America. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm excited for this. I, like I told you, all, all I know about the original is that it's a, it's a World War II movie. So, yeah. So he should he should be good because he does those uh, period pieces really well. So I think it's going to be good. Whatever he does, um, did he direct Passion of the Christ? He did, right? Yes, he directed that as well. That I one's didn't... not out of print. Oh, it might be, but it's still like it's fairly cheap. I seen it like last week like i didn't like watch it bucks. i haven't you didn't watch passion the christ no i saw it in theaters and i think i fell asleep um because it's a <laughs> long ass movie and then i watched it at home uh i grew up um well my parents they're they're catholic um so my uncle like took me and my dad and my brother to see it and then like my mom wanted to see it so i remember renting it and i also remember when um my mom came home one day with a backpack. And I just- <laughs> <laughs> yes, another um, story. Audrey hates that story, man. No, funny. I don't hate it. I just think it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. And then? But anyway, so, yeah, I mean, I, I like Passion of the Christ. I've liked everything he's directed. And I think he's coming out in the new movie, like, acting with someone else. I think Ryan That's- Gosling or I don't know. It looks yeah. cool, though. Oh no, Vince yeah. Vaughn. Vince Vaughn and uh, Mel Gibson are coming out in the movie. I think yeah. he's the director from uh Fuck. Um Braun Cell Bo- Block 99. I think it's mm. uh, Have you seen that movie or no? With Vince no. Vaughn? Mm-mm. That one's kind of like a throwback movie. Like it starts off kind of like gnarly and like kind of okay, cool. Like it's one of these movies and it just ends like even gnarlier. Like fuck, man. Like 
this 80s like, style. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like action, like freaking gory movie, but uh, it's pretty cool. Vince Vaughn is, is great in it. Yeah. Um, but other than that, Audrey, I kind of had, you know, us talking about some movie news later on in this uh, quote unquote show or whatever. But first of all, I kind of wanted to know how you were doing. But, <laughs> so we're going to you know, we're gonna bring that back now. Like, how, how are you? How are you doing, Audrey? Like, how's how's your day <laughs> today? So- you going to work? You're so random. Oh my god. We literally are like halfway through the show and then you're like, how are you doing by the way? I mean, obviously. Um, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but but no, I'm I'm doing good. Yeah, I, I worked today. I got off pretty early again, which was cool. Uh just some grocery shopping, nothing too exciting. Um, and then I was just watching like YouTube. Oh, that's what I was gonna tell you about. So obviously you're on YouTube, you're a creator. Do you watch other YouTubers like that are non movie related? Like, are you on YouTube like a lot? Because I know I am. I watch so much stuff on YouTube. Like, it's not even funny from like recipes to workouts to art to just random shit. I watch everything. <laughs> I think YouTube is like the new TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we grew up with watching shit on TV. And I still do every now and then. I still, that's why I keep direct TV now because like, there's something not only nostalgic about like you know flipping the channels, seeing what's on, what's on cable, uh, what is TBS you know offering now, um, catching up on some old shows, like just random shit, you know, like kind of like the whole TV vibe of it. But YouTube, um, you know, it's called YouTube, and we have a YouTube channel because this is our kind of like you know our channel. Like if you want to watch this kind of content, come here. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's just like ever since I like. First off, it kind of started off with like cat videos and stuff like that, but slowly it was like um, becoming into like you can search YouTube for literally anything how to do this, how to do that, or you know, this isn't this, you know. So, um, besides like movie related channels, um, I watch like I guess it's kind of the same thing, like wrestling videos, like highlights when I don't, when I can't watch the full thing, mm-hmm. uh, tech videos. I'm a big tech guy, I like to know what's the latest and greatest. Uh, or watch reviews for uh, the new gadget that I got, you know, kind of um, that I watch financial videos. I'm trying to learn how to, you know, be better with my money and stuff. Uh, and it's pretty interesting stuff overall, like, you know, um, stuff that I wouldn't think of like financially, you know, that you can do. Um, mm-hmm. So it's pretty cool to watch those videos. Um, but yeah, other than that, just like the regular random shit, uh, but I mostly watch like movie related stuff, like uh, uh, like our our you know community and uh, some collider stuff. Obviously, Stuckman. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I watch like I said everything on YouTube, and like I just was telling you before, I got this new camera. So before that, I was watching videos on how to use it and get familiar with it and know all the controls and all that. So YouTube is super helpful. You know what I mean? Like we have access to all this information for free, which I think is really cool. But um, what the reason yeah. that I was asking you that is because before that, um, I don't know if you know who Shane Dawson is. He's like a huge YouTuber. Do you know who he is at all? Shane Dawson. He sounds familiar. He has like 17 million subscribers. He's like one of the biggest YouTubers ever. Um, he's been around for a long time. But right now he has this like series going on and I'm like super into it. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit it because it's like I wasn't a fan of him before. I just got into him because he started this series and uh, he's doing a killer job, man. Like his his skills have been put to the test. Like he's just doing an amazing job. It feels like you're watching an actual documentary. Like it's just like, wow. And um He's doing uh, this latest one that he's doing is on uh, what's his name? Jake Paul, which I don't know if you know him, too. He's that like guy that. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone hates him. I mean, I hate him, too. I hate his guts, but uh, everybody he's hates doing... his big brother. That's why Logan Paul. Yeah, I know. He's such a tool. Jake Paul, those fucking douches. <laughs> I, I I kind of feel bad like saying that, but it's like okay, I I know what the guy did. But at the same time, is like you try to put yourself in his position, but at the same time, you try to have that like persona of like, well, 
if you don't know any somebody like why you know call them names and shit like that but i don't know for some reason like when i call this guy a douche like it fits <laughs> <laughs> well because he has that face they both do they both have the haircut they both have like that like style it's just anyways but there he's making this documentary on him following up you know with everything that's been going on with him and it's i'm like stoked for it because like i said i don't like particularly um jake paul or anything but the way he records it and the way he shoots it and the way he edits it everything is just super interesting so i was like i get and i got all my friends onto it too like i'm like hey guys like the new shane dawson video is up and they're like oh my god so they're all like watching oh my gosh <laughs> he does it in part he does it in parts he does like four parts and they're all like 45 minutes each so it's like hefty and um yeah, so <laughs> that's what I'm into right now. Don't judge me, okay? But it's really good. Like, if you just try to, like, watch, like, a little bit of it, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, it's actually pretty interesting. He's a really good YouTuber. That's why he has 17 million subscribers. I can't even wrap my brain around that. 17 so you're trying million. to say that I should take some notes. That's what you're saying. <laughs> no, because Shane Dawson's been around for, like, you shit, know, Roger, man, like, 10 years. You're co-host? No, okay, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, well, I mean, if you want to take a note from the, from Logan Paul and Jake Paul is that you have to do crazy shit to get views, I guess, because that's what they would do. They would do like outrageous things just to get views. And um, I don't agree with that. I actually think that's kind of t- ki- um, tiresome. Like when I notice that some YouTubers start putting out this content that I'm just like, it's stupid, but they're just doing it to get more views. Like, I honestly hate that because I'm like why and our community has that too i don't know if you noticed like we, <laughs> we've had conversations i don't, I don't care i'm gonna you know calling say, it uh, out the, the real talk it's the, the real talk has for, been for a spilled. <laughs> um but i'm just saying our community has those type of videos too and that's why i don't i don't do those certain type of videos because right. i mean we've we've had that conversation like i i tried once and <laughs> I was watching it the other day. Um, I'll say it. Like, um, I was watching my trailer reaction for The Last Jedi. Yeah. Oh, my God. I got, me and Mo were just fucking laughing. Like, Why? you can tell, like, everything I was saying, like, I wouldn't say watching a trailer. Like, I was trying to make a show. You know? like, so, you were just being, know. so you were just being extra F. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, fuck, man. Like... <laughs> I saw it and I'm like, man, I want to take this video down. Like, fuck that. Wait, is it on? Is it? On? Did you post it? It's still on there. It's so I think. I'm gonna. No, go I think look I had it in its own playlist because I thought I was gonna start doing trailer reactions, um, but I think I just put in like in other videos or something. I think it's, you it's on there. Send me the link or I'll look for it because I I don't I'll remember watching it. <laughs> That's it's, it's a, you're in for a laugh. You're, I think I might start doing trailer reactions just to be extra at. Oh, how do you say F? F. I say AF. I don't know how to. You... Extra F. It just sounds better if you say extra, extra F. F. Not extra AF. Fuck, man. A- I say AF. No, that's like spelling. <laughs> like L. Like literally saying L O L. Like literally saying L M A O. Like no, it doesn't work. Instead, you say Lamau. I'm not Audrey. I can't. I can't. I can't be doing all, all, learning all this shit. I'm just Shut <laughs> up. all this hip stuff. Shut I'm sorry, Audrey. Up. I'm not up, okay. up to date with the times. I'm not and, up uh, to real date quick, either. Audrey, um, I know I'm gonna point out something else uh, in that? your room. Um, why is your calendar thing blank? Oh, <laughs> you scared me! Oh my god! I was like, what? Did I leave like my? Like something out or something. Um. Oh, that calendar. Yeah. I just haven't had time to write in the dates. <laughs> but it's still like I, I, the other day when we were talking, I saw it. I was all right, cool, and it was filled out. So what the fuck? Like uh, September's <laughs> not over. Like why would you? Was that from no. August? Yeah, you weren't looking correctly. Oh. That was from Aug. No, that was from July. I haven't changed it that long. Yeah, so I need to go back and ugh, write it, but uh, I get bored. I get lazy. So I'll probably do that when October starts because October is my favorite month. So I'll be stoked to do it for sure. And I have stuff happening in October. So I'll actually have stuff to write in. <laughs> well, speaking of October, me and Audrey don't know what we're doing yet, but um, <laughs> we are 
planning to do some Halloween type of related stuff, horror movies and stuff, yeah. and also uh, leading yes. up to uh, Fantastic Beasts 2. I think it'll be mm -hmm. a perfect month to start doing some Harry Potter coverage. Yeah, um, I mean, I would love to hear from them what they want to see from us for Halloween because um, we've already we tried tried doing that last year where I uh, did a Halloween of. of Scary movie a day, or a horror movie a day, whatever the fuck you want to call it, 31 days of Halloween, um, on the Instagram page. So, I don't know if you guys would be stoked to see something like that again, or do you want something different, or what do you want? Tell us. Tell us in the comments, because, yeah, I want to get creative with it this year. Uh, like I said, it's my favorite month, so I'm excited Quick for fact, it. Quick fact, Audrey's birthday is also in October. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That'd be pretty. Cool. I'm almost there. I'm like two days behind. <laughs> two days late. Do you do you count your? Wait, wait. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> no, nothing. No, no, nothing. no, 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 no. Nothing. We're live. You gotta Anyways, see it. let's go back to what we're oh, talking wow. about. Let's when we're off air, we better revisit this. I'm interested in what you had to say. <laughs> it's nothing. Trust me. So, um. Anyways, I actually do kind of want to go watch Life. I was actually planning on going to go catch the late show for Life Itself right now, today. But uh, I think I'm going to be too tired. Um, I work tomorrow. What am I going to see? Oh, so tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes well, um, I'm going to go chill with uh, our homie Griffin. And we're supposed to... Honestly, I'm probably not going to go to that thing. Uh, I might just hang out with the guy. But we had, like, passes to go see the movie Hellfest. Uh -huh. Not sure if you've seen, like, previews on it. No. Um, and it, it's, like, it, it told us to dress fancy and shit. Like, fuck, man. Like, I have a tie, you know? Like, <laughs> Don't you have, like, a vest? <laughs> but, um, no, I don't have a vest. Like, I have fancy clothes, I guess, whatever. But I, I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't feel like for that movie, you know. Um, but I don't have. I want to see White Boy Rick and um, Life Itself. But there's also another movie I wanted to see. I think coming out soon. But yeah, I haven't been to the theater since uh, since I saw Slice. So. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I want to go watch Life Itself, and I want to go watch it like alone by myself in the back row. And just with a box of tissues, with a box of tissues and cookies or whatever, and just okay. cry my little eyes out and cry my little eyes out. But, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I could go, it's at 9 40, but fuck. I work tomorrow, so we'll see. Guess who doesn't work tomorrow? Oh, you're off? Yep, Tuesday, Wednesday are my days off. Oh, that's right, that's right. Um, yeah, so I don't know if not, I'll just wait till next week or something. Not a big deal, but yeah, I do want to go watch it. Yeah, me too. But, um, getting on to our main topic here, Audrey, we're going to be talking about, like we said uh, at the top of the show, um, musicians who became, um, turned actors or however you want to call it. Um, Audrey, actually, I'm going to give you credit for this topic because, like, you kind of came up with it on the spot, which is pretty cool. And I was like, automatically, I was like, there's not even enough. But I was like, holy crap, there's already plus 10 that I thought of. Like, oh, this yeah. be, you could. we're not going to we're not going to make a list. We're just going to say, oh, hey, there's this person, you know, they came out with this movie. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw it. We didn't see it. Most likely I didn't see it. Um, but, yeah, we're going to just talk about that. Give yourself um, more credit, John. Jeez, I'm sure you've seen at least one of them on the list. Well, obviously, uh, I actually didn't have this person written down. Um, I, I want to start off with, with the white boy of uh, Detroit. <clears throat> Mr. Mr. Slim Shady. Marshall Mathers. Eminem. Uh, obviously, we know. His, I mean, you guys know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of him. Um, and he was also using the intro for this. If I do it, if everything goes according to plan, <laughs> we you shouldn't have said his... anything because I would put you some. <laughs> I know, like shit. But um, I don't know. Anyways, Eminem, he obviously started off uh, with uh, Dr. Dre with his music and stuff like that. He eventually did a kind of like an um, not autobiography. How's it? What was it called? Biopic. Mm-hmm. 
He kind of started in a biopic-ish film of himself. It's not, you know, completely accurate, but kind of, you know, okay, this is, you know, what some of the things he, he went through. Um, and, yeah, I really like the movie. I actually like his performance. I didn't think it was bad at all. Um, and he has been in, like, other films. I think he's in the 90s. He was in this movie called The Wash. Uh, he was also – he did, had a small part in uh, Funny People and also in their interview with uh james uh-huh. franco and uh seth rogan yep yep i was like trying to remember what other stuff he had been in but yeah i forgot he was in the interview he had like a small little role yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> so are you saying that you would want to see more from him like do you think he has a future in acting or he should just stick to rapping well, uh, i think now like he's he's always been a rapper he's always been into music that's the thing he wants to do. He was supposed to be cast in uh, Matt Damon's role in Elysium. Like the directors were looking at him, um, but again, obviously, then you know they went with Matt Damon. And but he was also set to star in Southpaw for the longest time because oh, yeah. it was kind of like Eight Mile was like the first part of his career, kind of getting to that fame. And then Southpaw was supposed to be you know when he uh, was going through you know. Uh, drug overdoses and stuff like that and kind of falling off of rap and kind of coming mm-hmm. back and stuff so he was set to start that for a, a while but then he just made some music with it he had a, some uh, funny interviews with uh, damn I was going to say Jake Paul <laughs> <laughs> with Jake Gyllenhaal <laughs> he had some cool interviews with Jake Gyllenhaal um, which eventually ended up getting the role in Southpaw um, mm-hmm. so yeah Audrey who do you want to talk about next um Someone that comes to mind right off the bat for me. Well, I'm going to throw a bad one out there, and that's Rihanna. The girl can't act. She can't act. She's easy on the eyes, but I think that's why I I, I I actually liked her in Ocean's 8 because she kind of didn't really say much. She was kind of just there. (laughs) Yeah, and she's she's beautiful, but she, like her one line that she delivers, you're just like, ugh. Ugh. And even she was in Battleship, uh, and I think she was in like another movie where it's kind of yeah. like, come on, girl. Oh, she was in um, come on, girl. The one that came out last year. Which one? Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. She came out. She had, like, of a small role. I think I actually don't know if she's like a character there or she just came she, out like. I think she just played herself, or no. I don't think so. I don't know. Or like a future yeah. version of herself. I don't know. It's 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 weird. Maybe, Maybe she played a character. I, I I didn't see the movie. My brother said it. It wasn't that bad. But I mean, I don't know. I'm not. Dead. Um. Yeah, she's another one. Um. I'm gonna go back to a rapper. I'm pretty sure you know who it is, Audrey. There's a lot of rappers that I'm thinking right now that Mr. have become Ice T. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I, I was going to go with LL Cool J, but I was like, I'm going to throw her off. Uh, but yeah, Ice-T, obviously, I I don't know if I've seen him in, in, I'm pretty sure he's been in movies, but I most notably know him in like the, what's it called? CSI or something yeah. like that, or NTIS. Like, you know he's who in I one of those you, shows. You know, I thought you were going to say Ice Cube. <laughs> oh, I see. There's another one. Yeah. Ice Cube. Yeah. There's oh that's but, what I'm saying. There's a lot, but Ice T, yeah, he came out in was it Law and Order? Yeah. Right? Oh, Law and Order. Yeah, I think it's Law and Order. Yeah, yeah. Law and Order. Yeah, <laughs> and um, and then Ice Cube obviously also has done stuff. Um, yeah, he kind of wrote his own movie. You know, he wrote Friday, as we famously saw in Straight Outta Compton. But you know, obviously he he's credited. Uh, yeah, he started in the Friday movies. Um. Those family ones, what's it called? Are we there yet? Yeah, are we there yet? Or um, the other one, um, are we done yet? Mm-hmm. Which I actually, f- for the first time, saw like a little bit of it. I think like last year, two years ago. Uh, you know, it's kind and of like then, a family film. Did he come out in Twenty One Jump Street? I think he did. Yeah, right? most recent. Yeah, most recently he's well, not most recently, but yeah, he's like you know he came out Twenty One Jump Street. Uh, which I think he had a pretty funny role in that, and he also came out in like Fist Fight with uh Charlie Day most recently. But yeah, he's he's been in some f- films. I mean, I like him, he's okay. He's not like, oh my god, he deserves an Oscar, but he's 
Yeah, he's like he does that character well, like that right. kind of hard ass, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, another. His son. I didn't like his. Well, no, no, he's not a rapper. Actually, he he he's not a rapper though. Yeah, yeah, he's just a he's, he's just, just a rapper's son. Son, right? <laughs> um, another guy that comes to mind is Mr. Marky Mark. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Transformers <laughs> now, Mr. Uh, fuck, what other franchise did he have? Well, he did uh, Daddy, Daddy's Home. Oh, yeah, Daddy's Home, Daddy's Home 2. Uh, he's done a lot, actually, that for um, The Happening. <laughs> <laughs> the Happening. Uh, he did that other funny one. Is it The Other Guys? Yeah. Yeah, The Other Guys with Will Ferrell. I actually really like that one. That one's pretty cool. He's actually really good in comedy. That's what I was going to say. Oh, and he's did Ted. Yeah, you see, there you go. Ted. And that's and what I was going to say. Shooter. For him, I actually prefer him as an actor. Because, I mean, I don't care for his music. Um, but as an actor, I you really like new kids on the block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just call Eminem right now. Oh, God, don't. <laughs> <laughs> but no i'm not i'm not so like in this case i think i would be like oh yeah i prefer him as an actor for sure um the first cool. thing i seen him in was, was uh the big hit i don't know if you ever seen that one with lou that uh lou diamond phillips the big hit yeah it's like this fuck i haven't seen it in so long but i remember like seeing it a few <laughs> times when i was younger i can't i can't think of it with lou diamond phillips and lou diamond phillips didn't come out in much yeah, he was like the. It, it's like about like this crew, I guess. But then, like obviously, like, it's like something goes on, like someone betrays somebody, and like you know. How it's, funny! It's it. I don't remember. It's, it. I think it's like one of those so bad it's good movies. I haven't seen it in a <laughs> long time though. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of someone else. Uh, Mr. L O Cool J. Oh yeah, but he hasn't been in anything in a hot minute. He's he's also been in a show um, with uh, Chris O'Donnell, which he played Robin in the Batman Forever and Batman mm -hmm. and Robin. Uh, it's like a, one of those cop shows as well. Obviously, he was in D Deep Blue Sea. He was in SWAT. Yeah, and, he was uh, in um, um, The Last Holiday with Miss Queen Latifah. Yeah, there you go. He he's been he he was in some. I think now he's just like doing TV, and he I think he has a his own radio podcast thing going on. Um, there's also, uh, Will Smith. Wait, was he an actor first or a musician first? No, no, no. Yeah. I, I think he was, like, he was the Fresh Prince and then, you know, he had the show and then he, Independence Day, you know, so. And I then he, he, he became, start off. he started off as a musician? Yeah, I think so. If, I think so. With his one song? <laughs> with his one song. Summertime. No, there's like that one, you know. <laughs> And there's the one for Wild Wild West. Men in Black, Wild Wild West, Men in Black. See, oh, where's that God. that era again? Like, the, the star the would make the song for the movie. <laughs> Only in the 90s, Audrey. Yeah, seriously, I'm like, down the hilarious. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love Will Smith. I kind of hate him sometimes, but like, I don't know. I like him. Yeah, he's Mr. Will Smith. I, I, I am dying to see um, Bad Boys 3. I know you don't really like those movies. Yeah, I know. Movies. You're dying. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Do you have anyone else that you can think of? Um, uh, Going with a girl, another girl, uh, Beyonce. Beyonce, right? Wait, what did she come out in? She was in Goldmember. Oh, and, right, right, right. Um, And she was in Cadillac Gone Records. Girl? No, not Gone Girl. Golden Girls or something like that, right? With Eddie Murphy and, and uh, Dream Girls. Uh, Dream Girls. <laughs> the fuck Golden did I say? Girls. Golden Girls. Was that a TV Girls. show with like a bunch of old ladies? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then she was also in yeah. Cadillac Records. She plays Mrs. Eddie James, I believe. Does she really? Yeah, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah. And so then her, uh, her counterpart in uh, Disney's Child. Uh, Kelly Rowland or something like that. Uh -huh. I just know that she came out. I think she's been in some other stuff, but I remember her getting killed in Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in that? 
And you know what? Um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm not a fan of Beyonce. Like her singing or her acting, I'm not a fan I of her. I knew it for some reason. I just, I'm not a fan. Sorry. Uh, but, but a um, fan that I know you are of is Mr. JT himself. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Why do you automatically assume I'm a fan? The hell? Because NSYNC. I was a big fan of NSYNC. I had I, both I, albums. No, I was a Backstreet Boys fan. I was not an NSYNC fan. Wow. Damn. <laughs> All right. All right. I told you this. I remember I told you that I had the whole set of the concert series for fucking Backstreet you Boys. Told like, me what that? the fuck? Yes, they were giving them away at, at Burger King when you bought the kids' meal. So my dad took. Oh, oh yeah, they, they had meal. little action figures too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, oh, that's so funny. I think I was like five or six. I don't even remember, but I was little, and I remember that was like my shit. But um, I started liking JT until he did like his more. What was that one album that Solo I liked? Career. Yeah, I really enjoyed one of his albums. I forgot which one it was, but um, but yeah. I mean, in his movie, his acting, I like him. He's okay. Yeah, I, I, I like him too. He's not like, oh my God, give that dude an Oscar, but he was yeah. great in the social network. Uh, he was in it. that movie, In Time. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, but he was in Bad Teacher. Um, what was that one? Inside Louis, Louis Davis, right? Which one? Inside Lewis Davis? I haven't seen With that. I, I Oscar thinking, Isaac? I haven't seen that. Oh, one. sorry. Inside Lewin, Lewin Davis or something like that. I don't know. Os- Oscar Isaac. Uh, 50 Cent kind of acted uh, <laughs> and again, kind of like in um, his own biopic, Get Rich or Die Trying. Uh, and he's been in some other movies. Like he was in this year, he was in um, God, that one with Drodd Butler, Den of Thieves. And mm-hmm. he's in that one. He's on that uh, one show called Power. What happened HBO. to Fifty Cent? He's he's chilling. He's, like on, power. he's on power. <laughs> he's on power. Yeah. Um, and you then know, we have. Uh-huh. Real quick, I know that we're not talking about this, but um, speaking about like Eminem and Fifty Cent and this is uh, Nicki Minaj put out a track. I think it's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> she like literally. She kind of. She kind of um comes off of like a bit of a whore in this moment but um she kind of like names a lot of rappers and says why she doesn't sleep with them like in that one song so she says she <clears throat> why she did sleep with them or why no she why she doesn't sleep with them like oh like she said drake can have this cake or something like that but i don't know if the pussy wet or he's just crying because you know how his <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's always making yeah. those sad music. She's like, a fucking savage. Yeah, like she goes out like to she says something about like Fifty Cent and like Eminem, like uh, uh, and, like all the rappers. Holy it's crap. pretty cool. I actually like it. I, I think she's like you know messing around, but it's a pretty cool concept. Savage. But she comes out like a bit of a whore because she's like, what the fuck? Like you literally could fuck all these dudes, but like. I don't know. Well, yeah, she's Nicki Minaj. Even though, ooh, have you seen her in her? Well, <laughs> this is going off topic, but she came out on Ellen, and I was like, "Girl, she's wearing like a hot orange like wig, and she just is not. It's just not working for her." I was like, "Yeah, no. I feel like um, when I look at her, um, and she's more like attractive. Like when she's like normal, she doesn't have all that colors going on and shit like that." <laughs> yeah, yeah, when she's more downplayed, but eh, that's her thing. So whatevs um someone else that i'm thinking about we're missing who? a big one but i i want to say this guy next oh who luda chris luda yep mr luda, luda, yeah. luda chris get back motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously in the, fa- the fast and the fierce franchise and i think that's all he's been in right <laughs> yeah i was about to say i was like i don't think he's been in much no yeah, you know what been... oh in crash he... he was in crash yeah, I was like, he was in something else. He was in Crash, and I think he was in something else. I'm not sure, but yeah, he's been in now he's in the Fear Factor. Series. <laughs> huh? He replaced Joe Rogan. He's doing Fear Factor now. Is he really? Hmm. Joe Rogan. What happened to Joe Rogan? He became like this like YouTuber too, right? He's like he's on like YouTube and doing a podcast. Podcast, podcast, whoever. 
No, dude. Look, and I want to love him because he's a pothead. Like, he supports pot like no other. Like, he's a huge pothead. So I want to like him. But I had never watched one of his podcasts. The first one that I watched was the one that he did with Elon Musk. And that was because it was fucking Elon Musk. And I was like, I have to watch this. Yeah. But he pissed me off. He he wasn't asking any good questions. Like, you have Elon Musk in front of you, and he was just asking him, like, the most retarded questions. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's the thing with him. Like, sometimes and he I does, feel, he like... Came off, he came off as kind of condescending. Like, oh, you're Elon Musk. You're, like, the smartest guy on the planet. And I'm like, well, fuck yeah, dude, he is. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was just kind of, like, pissed off because he came off as condescending. Like, he was like... So you just can't shut off your brain. And it's like, well, no, dude, like that's his brain. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, like, I feel um, he kind of just does, he just goes on there and like just talks sometimes. He doesn't say, okay, so Elon, like, when did you start like this? And she like, um, sometimes he does though. Like, I heard his, obviously uh, heard his podcast with Chuck Polnick, who, who's the author uh-huh. of uh, Fight Club. And that one was gnarly as hell. Like, you, like well, I think most, most in part, I think... I think because of his guests, I like I like uh-huh. him. But like he also had Neil deGrasse uh, Tyson there, which that one's really interesting. But again, it's because of fucking Neil. Like he's just a fucking interesting guy, you know everything they talk about. But um, yeah, he's a, he's a different type of podcaster. Like he, I don't know. Sometimes he does come off a bit of a, like a jerk, but I feel like that's just like how he is. You know, like and he kind of what? like that's how, how he talks. That's what I was gonna say too, though. Like I'll give him, I'll give him the ben- the reason that I gave him the benefit of the doubt too. I was like, you know what, whatever. Like, I think it also has a lot to do with who he's interviewing. And Elon Musk, he's an amazing guy, but his social skills are a little bit weird. He's a little bit odd. He's like every smart person out there. They're just a little bit like, you know what I mean? Like they're kind of like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they're just kind of awkward. They have this awkwardness to them. Like they don't know how to act because they're so fucking smart. So. um I think that also had to do with it because I feel like Joe Rogan was like trying really hard to like get him to relax and Elon Musk was just very like tightly wound up because I don't know for whatever fucking reason uh, he's trying to move us to Mars. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I'm he's like, down to I go got- there. Fuck everybody on here. I mean, little blue planet. I'm over it. I'm over everybody. Let's but, go on, uh, but anyways, yeah, so um, that was my first introduction to him doing an interview. So I'm glad that you told me that because now I'm going to go watch the one that he did with Chuck because I didn't know that. So I'll probably go check it out and see if maybe I like him more after. Chuck is an, I didn't know he was a, he was a gay, but um, he's an interesting cat, Audrey. Like he's like that. He's fucking like, <laughs> like just, just him explaining some of the stuff that he's like seen and heard and like. Uh, when he's talking about his other book, Guts, um, it's fucking hard. Like, damn, this guy's fucking like, I know why he wrote Fight Club now. Like, you know, like, like how he cool. was able to fucking, like, you know. Have you Fight read Club any of his other stuff? Like, <clears throat> no, I just read Fight Club and that's it. But I, I want to read his other stuff based on the, like that interview. Mm-hmm. Um, and to my surprise, he's doing Fight Club at three. Really? Which, yeah, I still have not read the second one. And I'm kind of scared to, but um, he's doing the third one, so. I um, I have some interesting stories about his books. His books always seem to get me in trouble, um, but I'll save that for another day. Maybe I'll save it for like a <laughs> Halloween special because it's kind of creepy. But uh, no, I'm a big fan of his. Oh, that's um, a good idea. I fucking love that. We should talk about like creepy stuff, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have tons of those stories, especially like I said, I don't know why. For some reason, it doesn't happen. It's not stuff that happens directly to me. It happens to other people around me. So, so yeah. But anyways, like I said, we'll save that for like a Halloween special because it would be pretty dope to dive into that. But um, but yeah, I want. I'm interested in watching that interview now. I'll probably check it out for sure. So moving along with the list, I have one I know that you're gonna like, and all our male listeners will like as well. And that's Mrs. J Lo. <laughs> yes, that's the that's the big one. Um, Miss Jenny for the block. F- pretty pretty fitting uh, thing, pun intended. Uh, the the big one that we were missing, J Lo. Uh, I do you know what was her first thing she did was it uh, Selena? Yeah, Selena is what like rocketed her into stardom. So you know what? Now I'm kind of curious because so then technically she's not a musician turned actor. She's an actor turned musician because after that she came out with On the Six, 
which was her first LP. Oh, shit. You look lost. You're right. Yeah, like, yeah, like you know what? <laughs> Fuck, she doesn't. Well, I guess we, we we can just make the list like musicians who also act. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to be the word, I guess. Um, but yeah, she got her start first in Selena. That's what like rocketed her into stardom. And then after that, she became the J-Lo that we all know and love. <laughs> Especially, like you said, our, our male uh, viewers. Yeah, and you see, that's a perfect example. So you won't say that I discriminate against girls because whatever. I like J-Lo. I like her a lot, actually. I don't care for her music. Like, I'm not a fan. Like, I don't have her CDs. I don't have her on Spotify. But I like her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I, I respect her as a musician and as a as a person. She's cool. And she's funny and, as well. Um, I like her. Yeah, she's, she's cool. Like, her... Her her acting, I mean, I, I never really thought she was like a, a you know fantastic actress, but she she does all right, you know, with her her. Well, her she roles does and stuff like, like that. yeah, she does like really like I mean, come on, like her roles are really subpar. Like she did enough, The Wedding Planner, uh, Monster in Law. Um, they're What's they're the not one where she's like a like a fucking like oh, man, where she wants oh. to take revenge on this dude. That's enough. Enough. Right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. enough. Um, yeah, so she doesn't have, like, in-depth acting scenarios, but, eh. I mean, I prefer her as a musician for sure. I think she does better at that, but she's cool. I'm whatever. just, I'm just Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's um, Jenny from the block. But going on to, I, I literally haven't seen her in uh, a lot of stuff, but um, Madonna. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen her in much either. Like, I mean, I know she's she's done some stuff, but, you know, Madonna's yeah, I... got to be up there with uh, Elvis. Mm-hmm, for sure, for uh, sure. James Dean. I'm just kidding. I was like, wait. And <laughs> you start naming Cher. actors from, like, that. Cher? Cher? Yeah, Cher. Um, who else can we name? Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. He was, he had a um, few, like, little cameos in the movies, um... Fuck, the one with Jason Statham. Not Transporter. Oh, I have a good one. Oh, High but voltage. sorry. High Voltage. No, no, no. Fuck, what was the name of those movies? Like, where he's, like, really energized or something. Like, he can't... Cranked. Cranked. There you go. <laughs> I was like, wait, which one? I thought you were talking about Looper. For a no, second. No, no, no. But you have... You said you had a good one? Oh, yeah. But I didn't know that he came out in those movies. Yeah, he he has like a cameo in that, and then like he has a cameo in uh, Saul. It's a pretty gnarly cameo too. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, for me, another one is Mr. Tom Waits. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're really excited for that one. Hell like, yeah, because I fucking love Tom Waits. I fucking love him. He's so like I don't know. I love that little guy. <laughs> that little guy. I wonder if he's short. I'm actually kind of curious. I kind of want to look that up now. I think he's he like so five. I feel like I'm taller than him. <laughs> I don't know. When I see him, I feel like he's really small. Like, I picture him being, like, maybe 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, Who knows? That's what I was going to say. Like, 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, um, I've only seen him in Seven Psychopaths. So, no, in uh, Wrist Cutters. Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? Um, he also came out, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. Um, he's also came out in... Crap, I'm blinking. There's another one that I like him in. But yeah, that's do a good you, one, Wrist Cutters. Do you know that Heath Ledger kind of got his voice for the Joker based on him? Yeah, that's what I that's what I heard. I've seen a video of like both their voices. But, but maybe I, that could be I a co coincidence. But I don't think it sounds like him. You think it sounds like him? I don't know, like maybe like kind of like a little, I don't know, maybe obviously, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know, don't ask me. It literally gave you nothing. <laughs> um, fuck, Dave Grohl has uh, been, I think he, he's been Tenacious D, obviously, that, that movie. Uh, but, you know, he's not, that's not like a big acting role. Yeah. Mandy Moore. Oh, yeah, Mandy Moore. Um, another one is Mr. David Bowie, R.I.P. Also. Oh yeah, David Bowie, Lab Lambeth. Well, I oh I wish I still haven't seen. Pan's Sorry. Labyrinth. He also did um the Prestige, 
which I actually really liked him as that role. I don't know why. I really dug him. Um, we can't forget Mr. Snoop Doggy Dog. Oh, yeah. Soul Plane. And <laughs> uh, he was in uh, uh, Training Day. Yeah. Uh, which Dr. Dre was also in. High school. Um, right? That's what it's then, called. What? Isn't doesn't he have one with Wiz Khalifa called High School or something school? Oh yeah 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 literally High School. <laughs> yeah, it's called High um, School. Fuck that! What, what, what was it? Bone? Did you say that already? No. Like that one that was, was like the... a vampire or something like that. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like an old one. Like I can't. Like every time I go to the to the oh, uh, video God. rental place, like he, I just saw it. Like literally, just him. I think I said Bone or something. I don't know. He also comes um, out in Starsky and Hutch. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, Queen Latifah. <laughs> Mrs. Queen Latifah, that's a good one. Um, also, we're forgetting about Jared Leto. Like, what the fuck, dude? Wow, what the <laughs> fuck? We're literally just talking about Fight Club too. I know. And we're talking about Joker. Um, yeah, and Jared Leto. Um, Jared Leto's a great. Like, he's just all around good. I fucking hate him. Re- Requiem for a Dream is still like one of those movies I don't want to watch again. <laughs> oh, I know. It's so different. It just gives me like this vibe, but it's it's a great movie. Uh, fuck, what's his name? The director. He did uh, Aronofsky. Mother. Yeah, Darren Aronofsky. Yeah. yeah. God damn. What a, it's a, what a director that guy is. It's a fucked up movie. Like it. Uh, um, who else? Oh well, Mr. Glover, uh, Mr. Childish Gambino. Oh yeah, Mr. Um, What's his first name? I know it's Glover. Lando. Donald what? Glover. Donald Glover, yeah. Yeah, but he, he played uh, Lando Calrissian. Cal- Calrissian. In what? Oh, in, in Star um, Wars. Star Wars, right, right, right. Uh, I really like him too. He came out in this other movie. The first time that I saw him, what movie was it? Crap. Well, he's doing Atlanta, and um, he's doing. He was in another scary movie. Um, I can't. With Olivia it. Wilde and uh, Mark Duplass. Can't remember the fucking name of it for the I life can't of me. Either. He was also in Community. I think. I like him a lot. He's got this like. Thing about him, I don't know. He has a, yeah, he has a charisma to him. Like he's something like you just like the guy. You know, he has a lot. He's I really like his music too. Yeah, me too. He's real. He he brought something new to the music scene, which I dug it. Uh, but yeah, he's a good one. Um, who else? We missed another Fight Club <laughs> member. We're not supposed cool. to talk about him. His name <laughs> was Robert Paulson. Meatloaf. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Damn. Dude, there's a bunch. Now that I think about it, I can think of um, another one. Uh... Oh, talk about rappers. One of the best ones who ever did it. Oh, my God. Mr. Tupac Shakur. Yeah. We fucking forgot about him. Juice. (laughs) Um, He did a basketball one with Woody Harrelson. What a... Was it White Man Kenja? No, that's no, that's not it. I but yeah, he, he, he White Man Kenja. Yeah, I never watched that. Um, Jenna Jackson. Now that I remember, Jenna Jackson. Uh, he 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 yeah. he um he he was with uh, that's he's in uh with her in Poetic Justice. Right. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who else, Audrey? Who else? I'm trying Freddie to Mercury? think. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was like, wait, what? Um, I believe who else? Oh, Jamie Foxx. Oh yeah, Jamie Foxx. Wait, was he an actor? Oh no, remember we yeah, we were talking about yeah, how yeah, yeah. he was like a comedian, um, turned actor, no musician, an actor? No, I think yeah, turned actor, then musician, and then you know So he did so he did music last. I think so. I know someone. Someone came to my mind, and I can't believe it. Oh, Ti. <laughs> oh yeah. I remember in, ATL. <laughs> ATL. He was in Takers. He played like the villain. And he played the villain in Takers. I thought he yeah, was, he was the like the bad guy. No, yeah, he was. But then, like, I guess, like, something went wrong. 
and like he was he went to jail movie. because of it and like he came back and he's like, oh no don't worry we're cool and like he sets everybody up and shit damn but yeah what happened to ti he kind of fell off i remember he had a show at one point too with his family um yeah i i don't know but he, he's making music every now and then yeah but i remember him at atl <laughs> Yeah, too. <laughs> oh my god, the shit I used to watch, goddamn. All right, this um, is a deep cut. This is a deep cut because I just remember, um, she came out in the movie with uh, Jet Li. Oh, Aaliyah. Yeah, Aaliyah. Yeah. Romeo must die, and I know. Uh, she was also fuck. She was in like this vampire one, Queen of the Dam. Uh, yeah, Queen of the End. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the 90s? Yeah, she was like this weird, like, fucking vampire girl or whatever. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, I, I only watched her in Romeo Must Die. And that's like the only, I think, Jet Li movie I've seen. What? Don't kill me. Yeah, I know. Remember, we've gone over this. Audrey, what the hell? Like, I see like every one of his movies, even his yeah, like, Asian I know. ones. <laughs> no, I know. I know you're a big fan of him and Jackie Chan, but no. And yeah. Bruce Lee. Don't forget Bruce Lee. And Bruce Lee, right. Um, <laughs> I guess we could count Prince, but I mean, he he had like, I mean, Purple Rain. Purple and, Rain? <laughs> Purple Rain. And I mean, I guess he's had cameos, but nothing like crazy. Uh, Most I can't think of anything else. Most You can rewind. Yeah. Yep, most deaf. I fucking love him. He's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I like his music too, man. Yeah, I know. I'm a big fan of his music too. But I, I don't remember seeing him in anything else. Did he come out anything else? Nothing that I can think of. Mm, fuck. There's like a he. He play. Oh, he comes out. I think in the Italian Job, if I'm not mistaken. I never watched that, so I don't know. In talking about we were when we were talking about Rihanna and Oceans Eight, mm -hmm. the original Oceans Eleven, uh, Frank Sinatra, no, mm -hmm. or is that someone else in in Oceans Eight? In the eleven, in the uh, like you're well, yeah, you're talking about the old old one. I'm not sure to be honest. I've never seen that one. But yeah, um, Frank Sinatra had some some roles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and another another um, Fast and Furious member, Tyrese. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he was in that one with uh, what's it called? I think Snoop Dogg comes out with him. I don't know. It was like some gangster movie, but anyways, he was like in Four Four Brothers, uh -huh. uh, Transformers. Uh, He's Fast had some and funny Furious. roles. Uh, yeah. Also, Common. Common's been in a few movies. Oh, Common too. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Common. He's been in the he won in, uh Oh, and in a, another one that stars um, in Four Brothers with him is uh, Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. Yep. I yep, think yep, we yep. can just keep going on and on. I know. Things. There's a lot. There's a lot. But, I mean, we have to say some of them do it better than others. And some just don't do it well at all. And some DMX. are mate. DMX? Yeah. Who does he come out in? Uh, fuck. He came out in Romeo Must Die. He's He came out in some of those films. Like He had this one called Exit Wounds. Cradle oh, to the okay. Grave. Yeah, but like I said, there's some that do, like, you're kind of like, nah, bro, just stick to singing. Or nah, just stick to acting. But then you have those that are just good all around. Um, I also believe, well, Marilyn Manson, I think, has had some roles, too. But it's not, like, an actual, like, role. He just kind of comes out as, like... They use him like as a, as a person. <laughs> and to make it awkward. Who? Um, speaking of Rihanna, Chris Brown. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I don't like Chris Brown. Sorry, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I, I don't. don't like I don't him. really like that guy either. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. I don't know if you want to count Johnny Depp because he's not really like. I mean, he does have a band, but. I mean, I've never listened to his music, so I don't know. I'm Why? not a good judge of character. I don't know. And I love Johnny Depp, but I think him as a musician, I don't know. Like, I just, I've never tried listening to it. But, I mean, 
I'm sure it's good. He's played like at the Roxy and he's played with Marilyn Manson and stuff. So I'm sure he's good. I just, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, um, fuck. Was she a Bond girl? No. A Bond girl? No, no, a, B- a Bond girl, like a James James Bond. Oh. Um, Alicia Keys, she's done some acting. Um, and and um, Mr. Exhibit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, he was in... Um... Crap. Oh, my he was God. The, I remember him in uh, that one with The Rock, like a football one. Oh, yeah. Gridiron Gang. Yeah. I love that movie. Yeah. I haven't movie. seen it in a, in a long time. I like that movie. I like it a lot. Uh, but yeah, there's a ton. We could literally go on for days. But and um, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen How to Make It in America. It was an HBO show. Kind of had like two seasons, I think. Uh, but he was also in the Need for Speed. Who? Cool. Kid Cudi. <laughs> oh shit! Aww, he was in no, for Speed, and he was in something else. Fuck, man! But yeah, he was in in How to Make It in America. That show is pretty cool. It's like about some people literally music. trying to like make their make up their own business and shit. But yeah, watched, that would have been fucked if we forgot about him. I watched his TED talk. He's a, a cool cat. I like him. Oh, well, you he's and I really like him. Artist. Yeah, he's one yeah. of he's one of our mutual mutual favorite artists. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, we could literally go on. Let us know in the comments if we missed anyone, because we probably did. I'm pretty sure we, they, we did, yeah. <laughs> but Musicians. there's just too many. So I guess all we can say is we're going to look forward to seeing Miss Lady Gaga in her role, see if she's got it. She's got what it takes to take on this role of being a star in a film. I think she'll be all right. Like I said, I don't know if it'll be Oscar-worthy, but... Um, some people have said yes. Some some other people have said like she's just great in it, you know. But... I'll be fucking surprised if she gets an Oscar. Like, imagine, like crap. We'll see. But I'm excited though. Uh, you you put it greatly. Like, yeah. Uh, hopefully this was a pretty cool, fun walk down memory lane. You know, with us trying to you know, um, go over all the uh, musicians turn actors or vice versa. Um. Yeah, it was pretty cool naming all of them, Audrey. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we almost forgot Kid Cudi. I would have been bummed. Well, but I didn't remember because I haven't seen either one of the the shows or movies that you mentioned. So I would have never known. I didn't know. Wow, Audrey, you call yourself a fan. Well, I am a fan of his no, <laughs> And like I said, I watch um, all his interviews and I watch his TED Talk. So there. Okay, you got me there. No, just <laughs> but uh, yeah, let us know in the comment section down below uh, if we miss it, anybody. Like Audrey said, we probably did. Uh, and hopefully next week we could be back with something, uh, you know, movie related as well, uh, and related to like a new release. Uh, we're trying to do this and like live stream a little bit separate now, so we'll probably be doing another live stream in a uh, week or two uh, to kind of you know talk with you guys, um, kind of you know keep that connection there, but. Uh, Audrey, thank you so much for for joining me yet again. Yes, and, of uh, course. Yeah, guys, we'll we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace. Be no motherfucking ribbon. Fuck the system. I'm that nigga. Bend the law. Cut the rules. I'm about to risk it all. I ain't got too much to lose. Y'all been eating long enough. It's my turn to cut the food. Pass the plate. Win my drink. This my day. Lucky you. Fuck you too. Woo. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Y'all gotta move. Give me some room. Give me some room.